Welcome back, everyone. All right, I think we can squeeze one in here. Let's see how far we can get. All right, so I think first we should do a couple um, of the mirror checks uh, that we can do right around Link's house here. Quickly go to this uh, transition over here. Almost forgot about this one, actually. So there's a couple places over here where we can transition to light world from dark world to get up to otherwise unreachable spots. And this one over here is a tablet too. That requires the uh, the book and at least the master sword. Another mirror check. Um, <clears throat> just a little bit north of this. This one. And I think after this, we'll do Eastern Palace and Dark Palace since they're just right there next to each other. I might just do Swamp Palace. I don't know how far I can get without the, um... Well, Swamp Palace is right here. I don't know how far I can get without the, uh... Hookshot. Hookshot could be in there. I don't know. It's got a lot of items to that palace, so... I might bite the bullet and just try it. Probably stay in Link to the Pass for a little bit. I missed it. Lost my train of thought when I was talking. It's just right over here. I've been over in this area before, but you, need, you do need the mirror for this check, so I don't think I had it at the time. Nice lag. boy. Uh, let's go back to dark. And now... I just did the dick game. Can I do the... That might be Titan's Mint. Locked. Actually, I might not even be able to get up there right now. Yeah, I need Titans to even walk up there. Never mind. Alright, over to Dark Palace side. Actually, let's just go Eastern Palace first. It's faster just to do this. The Eastern Palace. The Eastern Palace is not a crystal, but it should be fast, and it um, gets us an item as well. The old guy over there has an item when you bring him the green pendant. And then we'll just do Palace of Darkness after that. I'm in light world right now. Oh, I just got confused. Should be relatively quick to just walk through this. The boss isn't too bad. Just gotta hit it with a bunch of arrows. It is the very first palace of the game, so... Shouldn't be too bad. Nice. 
And then what's the boss of uh, Palace of Darkness? That's also not a crystal. We're kind of wasting our time over here. Maybe. You never know. We are still looking for some items to finish the game. We need Gravity Suit from Super Metroid. We need Hookshot here. We need Titan's Mitt here. And Silver Arrow. That might be it. Hookshot, Titan's Mitt, Silver Arrow. I'm probably not thinking of something, but that seems like it might be it. Someone told me in the comments you can uh, kill these green guys without an I thought you had to have an arrow to kill them. Looks like they're right. Oh, it's a dark room. Um... This room's really not that complicated. I should be able to handle it. Best way to deal with this is these things. Uh-oh. Something dropped the key in here. I should track where I am. There's still living things in here. This room is really not that big or complex. That's probably the last living thing. Now I need to find that key that dropped. There it is. Okay. Okay, now up in the top left, there's a couple of pots. And I should be able to... Alright. This shouldn't be too bad. find our bearings over on the right. Okay, that's the top right. Shouldn't there be a pot right here for me to pick up? That's the lower part of the screen. Can I reset the room now? Through. 
God, getting through those dark rooms is annoying. So I'm actually like technically not supposed to be able to get here. That doesn't mean it won't have an important knife. God for a map. Alright, but the green pendant gets us something. I'd probably die to that boss a lot with low health and stuff. That boss is actually kinda hard. If you have silver arrow, it's like sometimes you get silver arrow really really early, and it makes like every boss really just completely trivial. Because a lot of them you just hit them once. <coughs> So he gives you something when you got green pendant. Alright, super missile. Good help. We use that potion. So now let's go to Dark Palace. Which we have a... A way to transition down south a little bit. I don't think you need Titans meant to do anything in Dark Palace. I should be okay. And the boss is Halmasaur. You need a hammer for that, so. We should be okay all around. It's not a crystal, but it's a lot of items. A lot of quick items. I don't know where that door leads, but it's not the not the palace. And it's not anything useful. Is where we pick up the monkey. It's another thing you need money for. He charges a little bit when you get him and then a little bit when he opens the palace for you. These are the things you can uh, hit with the powder. They give you a fairy. I can't pick up a fairy right now, though. I don't need that. They're nice to get rid of, though, because they take damage. I mean, 
definitely gonna take magic from you. What's the remaining bow for? chests in here. Another key. I doubt I even need all these keys. Switch. I think the boss is up here. I should just beat the boss and then come back out and explore the, the right side. Is this one of those things where you need the big key for, though? so good. Probably gonna be a big key door. Hmm, no, I don't know it well enough. Alright, so I can't finish Dark Palace. Alright, so let's head back to the front. I really need that lamp, because I don't know the dark places well enough. I've done a couple, but I've done the easiest ones possible. The lamp. It's holding us back, because I can't finish Aghanim without the lamp. So what else is open to me? Go back here. What other palace? A swamp, the beginning of Swamp Palace. Can't finish it. I don't even think I can get over to Meyer. Just thinking of where to go next. Thank you. 
chest up north. So I'm not going to be able to finish this one. It's fine. Big key. Big deal. Boy, did I do this inefficiently. Go down and do the south stuff in Super Metroid, maybe. The stuff in Norfair, the Wave Gate Lock stuff that we didn't get before. No, don't fall, don't fall. So here's a useful thing for the Canis Mari. You can put the block over there and then go like that. It didn't work. Nice. It should really work. There we go. We do have plenty of keys. Come on, come on, come on. You can bomb. Oh my god, it's another dark room. Boy, oh boy, that lamp is killing me. So, you can bomb jump over there, but you're on a timer because of those. There's absolutely no way. So, alright. E-tank. Uh, this is probably going to be dark down here, too. I think that room's bad to navigate, though. I'm not sure if there's a chest in it, though. There's another chest. Oh, that's phenomenal. Okay. Alright, everything's worth it. It's all worth it. That's Space Jump for Super Metroid. And, um, alright, we can get out of here. Space Jump will help us get to Wreck Ship. Wreck Ship has a good bit of items, so we're back to Super Metroid, I think, after this. I'm not going to go into Swamp Palace without the hookshot. That would be foolish. Um, yeah, the rest is lamp locked. Let's get out of here. can we get? I think for a sack. No, because we don't have mitt. We're pretty much emptied out on Link to the Past. Except for the front. Oops. Except for the front of Swamp Palace, so head back to Super Metroid. first in Super Metroid. Lower Norfair. Or Norfair, rather. So that was the wrong place to go. We're gonna go to Death Mountain and then go to Norfair. Okay. I have a direction. I know where I want to go. Lower Norfair, right down to that wave gate. Now, let's see. So, Spazer actually um, gets replaced by Plasma, so they can't be on at the same time. Actually, in the early iterations of this um, randomizer, I guess, I didn't experience this, but I guess um, when these were turned on at the same time and you came back to Super Metroid, the whole game crashed. So they made it so you have to turn it on yourself. So we got Plasma, that replaces Spazer, it's way better. And, um, all right. So we're heading down to Crocomire area. So now we have screw attack and space jump. We can do this. 
Um, so we can like infinitely jump up. We, we can just... We're crazy decked out now. So we can go fast and... and, and danger. boss down here will be pretty easy. So as you can see this goes right through doors so that's what opens that up. That's the wave part of it. What's over to our right? Yeah, that just is another entrance to Lower Norfair. Okay, so yeah, this is where we want to be going to the left. I forget what this item was over here. Not huge, but we'll just grab it since we're here. more useless than I thought. You're able to peek at that item from the other side when you first get down to Norfair. So I think this is the Krokemeyer room. I think when you have Plasma Beam, you just absolutely waste them. goes back like so you're supposed to like steadily kick him back until he falls in this pit but I think when you hit him with plasma beam he just steps all the way back you are not supposed to have plasma beam here there's an item over here ice rod ice rod is an item that I forgot that we you know what, we might not need it. If you need to beat Turtle Rock to beat the game, which is normally what you have to do, in this case it's not a crystal. Um, if you normally have to beat Tur Turtle Rock, you need Ice Rod, because you have to have that to beat the boss. This is just more like cutscene. Oh no, his bones. So everything down here should be pretty quick to get. Because we have all these sweet movement items now. I'll probably call that an episode in a minute. Right after this little cleanup. To beat Super Metroid, we really just need Gravity Suit. Gravity Suit and we're done with this game. We can beat it. So we're down to the last few items that we need to beat the whole thing. So. Down to the wire. I know I've said that a couple times, but... I'm probably going to think of a couple more items I need, though. There's a lot you need for uh, Zelda. So this is a fun looking jump. <laughs> Don't mess it up. See? Fun. There's another item over on the right here.
I'm almost mad that we progressed. Oh, there it is. Gravity suit. All right. This is game over for uh, Super Metroid. So we'll spend a lot of time in Super Metroid, in Meridia and everything like that. We'll probably get all the rest of our items from Zelda. And then I think we'll be done soon. I'm going to stop this one right here.